with the second part we are going to learn the roman number 2 so first question hari earns rupees 23400 per month his monthly expenditure is rupees 18700 find his monthly savings already i told in the book uh, sell buy and sell opposite words comes me that is subtract here also earns and expenditure in expenditure earns means the money that comes in our hands expenditure means the money that goes from our hands so when this is coming to our hands and this is goes from our hands okay so this both are opposite so when this opposite words comes means you have to minus so you know how to write the uh, statement no so hari is earning hari is earning equal to rupees this is compulsory how to write rupees whether it is rupees or anything else whether it is liter or meter so the measurements you know you have to write the units again expenditure his expenditure so his expenditure is rupees 18000 700 so now you have to find his savings so to find his savings you have to minus so 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 and this 4 is small 7 is big you cannot minus so you will borrow from here from 3 if you give 1 2 remains here that 1 comes here and this becomes 14 14 minus 7 7 Two is small, eight is big. Cannot minus. So you will borrow from two if you give one. One remains there, and that one comes here. This becomes twelve. Twelve minus eight four, and here one minus one zero. So that zero is useless. So no need to write in front. Only backside zeros you can write front zeros. You no need to write. So his saving is rupees four thousand seven hundred. Okay, now the next sum. Check your answer in two ways. So you have to do the sum. Then you have to check your answer. So let's do this sum first. Let's minus ninety-seven thousand fifty-six. You have to minus from here twelve thousand seven hundred eighty-four. So let's minus now six minus four two and five is small. Eight is big. You cannot minus. So you have to borrow here zero. So you cannot borrow. So you will borrow from here. From seven, if you give one, six remains here. That one comes here. And this will become ten. You can borrow from, uh, you can borrow, and you can give to the next digit. You cannot give after the two digit. So here only it will be given. So from ten you will give one. So nine will remain here. And that one comes here, and this will become fifteen. Fifteen minus eight, seven. Nine minus seven, two. Six minus two, four. Nine minus one, eight. So this is the answer we have got. Now we have to verify the answer. We can we have to check the answer. So already I told this is big number, and this is small number. So to find the big number, this two, so remaining this two you have to add. If you add, if you get the big number, then your answer is correct. Okay. So the two ways. So big number equal to small number. Plus difference. Again, small number equal to big number minus difference. So these are the two ways you can check the answer. So let's first see the small number and the difference. This two we will add it now. So twelve thousand seven hundred eighty-four. With this, you have to plus the difference. Eighty-four thousand two hundred seventy-two. So this two you have to add. Let's add now. Four plus two six, eight plus seven fifteen. So five you will write here. One you will do here. Seven plus one eight. Eight plus two ten. So zero you will write here. One you will carry here. One plus two three. Three plus four seven. One plus eight nine. So nine thousand ninety seven thousand fifty six. So that is a big number. So this is one way of checking the answer. So your answer is correct. Now the other way. So to you have to get the sm uh, small number by uh, from big number minusing the difference. So the big number is 
96 so from here you have to subtract the difference so the difference is 84272 so this two you have to minus 6 minus 2 4 and this is you cannot minus so you will borrow you cannot borrow here also so you will borrow here so from 7 if you give 1 6 remains here and that 1 comes here this will be 10 from 10 you will borrow here 1 so 9 will remain if you give 1 so that 1 comes here and that will become 15 15 minus 7 8 9 minus 2 7 6 minus 4 2 9 minus 8 1 so we have got 12784 so we have got the small number so your answer is correct so these are the two ways to check the answer this is the first way of checking the answer this is the second way of checking the answer okay now third sum what should be subtracted from 77 lakh 20066 to get 9 lakh 79581 so should be subtracted so this is the keyword for subtraction so always you mark and learn so that you will never forget should be subtracted means you have to minus and here the the numbers are given in number name that's why it, it, is, it looks long so you have to what should be subtracted from 77 lakh 77 lakh and here 9 lakh so to do the subtraction you have to write the bigger number first so here 77 lakh and here it is 9 lakh so which is the bigger number 77 lakh is the bigger number so let's write that one first so 77 lakh 77 lakh come on 20,000 after lakh next period is 1000 so 20,000 so 20,000 come on 66 so it's given 66 after that once period so in once period there should be three digits but here 66 we have got only two so one more digit you need so that is missing that missing place is hundreds place so in hundreds place we added zero again now let's write this one nine lakh so nine lakh is in lakh period so here 77 lakh so in lakh period two two places were there but here in lakh period only one place so we write here 9 lakh 79,000 so in thousand period 79 79 so two digits we need so we have got the two digits again in one period 581 so one period will be three digits so 581 we have got all the digits so this now we have to subtract so digits are in order first you check next now minus 6 minus 1 5 and here you cannot minus so you will borrow so here also you cannot borrow zero zeros are there so from 2 if you borrow 1 will remain and here you will get 10 and from 10 you will borrow 1 here so 9 will remain so that 1 comes here and this will become 10 so from 10 if you borrow 1 9 will remain here and that borrowed 1 comes here so this will be 16 so 16 minus 8 8 9 minus 5 9 minus 5 4 next 9 minus 9 0 and this is 1 this is 7 this smaller number 1 is so you cannot minus so you will borrow from 7 if you borrow 1 here will remain 6 and that once comes here so 11 it is 11 minus 7 4 and 6 is small 9 is big you cannot minus so you will borrow from 7 if you borrow 1 6 will remain here and this will become 16 16 minus 9 7 and here no number to subtract so you write as it is so the answer is 67 lakh 40,485 so this is the answer this was given in the Indian system next one is given in international system 5 million million comes means it is international system so in international system all the periods are with three digits and here also the keyword should be added so if the word is given should be added then you have to minus this also is the subtraction so here also you have to subtract and here to subtract you have to write the bigger number first here let's check which is the bigger number this is 5 million and here 
6 million. So 5 million, 6 million. So which is bigger? 6 is bigger. So this number only you have to write first. So let's write this one first. 6 million. So million period 6 is there. Come on. Next 421,000. So in uh, international system, 3 digits will be there in one period. So first million period 6 is there. Next 1000 period. In 1000 period it is 421. So 421. So 3 digits are there. Next comma. Then after once period as usual in Indian system and international system once period is same only. So in once period 455. So let's write 455. So from here you have to minus the smaller number 5 million. 5 million so in millions period 5 comma again thousands period 500 don't separate you don't take 500 alone look for next period is thousand period so look for thousand 548,000 so here only it finishes this period 548,000 548,000 so thousand mean don't write zero so thousand is the period period million is the period here also million is the period thousand is the period this is you will not mention it here number so this thousand period three digits so we have written next one once period 509 so in once period 509 509 you will know how to write 509 so this is the way you have to write 0 if you write only this will be 509 without 0 if you write it will be 59 so when you write the number you read and see whether this is correct or not so just looking here 5 is there 9 is there don't write 5 and 9 5 and 9 if you write it is 59 so it should become 509 so what you have to do add 0 here then only it will become 509 so now this 2 you have to minus so this is 5 is small, 9 is big, so you can add minus, so you will borrow. So from 5, if you borrow 1, 4 will remain, and this 1 comes here, so this will be 15. 15 minus 9, 6, 4 minus 0, 4, and this 4 is small, 5 is big, so you can add minus, so you will borrow. From 1, if you borrow, 0 will re remain, and that 1 comes here, and this will become 14. 14 minus 5, 9 and here 0 and here 8 0 is small you cannot minus so you will borrow from 2 if you borrow 1 1 will remain there and that 1 comes here and this will become 10 10 minus 8 2 and here 1 is small 4 is big you cannot minus so you will borrow so from 4 if you borrow 1 3 remains here and that borrowed 1 comes here so this will become 11 11 minus 4 7 and here 3 is small 5 is big so you can add minus so you will borrow so from 6 if you borrow 1 5 will remain here and the borrowed 1 comes here so 13 13 minus 5 8 and here 5 minus 5 0 so in front 0 is not necessary so I will rub it so the answer is 872,946